You know, the Bible says that there is a river that flows from the throne of God and that river flows into our hearts. Jesus said, out of your innermost being would flow rivers of living water. And you and I can go to the river and we can drink every single day through prayer. We can go to that river and drink. And oh, I tell you what, it's powerful. And you know, when the river is flowing in us and our lives are surrendered to Him, there's incredible power in that. In fact, the Bible says that God's eyes go to and fro throughout the whole earth to show Himself mighty on behalf of those whose hearts are perfect towards Him. And when God finds a person a person of prayer who will allow the river to flow, whose life is surrendered to Him and say, flow river, flow in me, flow through me. God will do extraordinary things with that person. God says He will show Himself mighty on behalf of such a person. A person whose life is surrendered to a holy God and is a person of prayer will be a mighty weapon in God's hands. I, I, I had an experience a number of years ago. I went to Siberia, to the Arctic Circle. Uh, it was a place where the gospel had never been proclaimed before. And I went to this city and I preached the gospel. It was an amazing experience. And uh, the stadium was packed and, and scores and scores of people came to know Christ that day. In fact, two churches were birthed out of that meeting. God moved in a mighty way in that city. But a, a journalist came and asked me a very interesting question. She said, Mr. Tippett, many people believe our city is under a curse because, uh, you know, Christians were sent to this city and this city was built by slave labor. And so we believe that maybe we're under a curse. Do you believe that our city is under a curse? And I said, no, ma'am, I don't believe your city is under a curse. I believe your city is under a blessing. And she said, what do you mean? I said, there were Christians who were sent to this city because of their faith in Jesus. And I believe they were people of prayer. And they prayed as they laid the bricks on the street, as they laid the bricks in the apartments. I believe they prayed that one day the people of this city would hear the gospel. And today is that day. God has answered their prayers. The reason I told her that was because I knew the promise of 2 Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 9, that the eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the whole earth to show Himself mighty on behalf of those whose hearts are perfect towards Him. And when He finds, when He finds a man or a woman whose heart is completely surrendered to Him, oh, the rivers will flow. The river of God will flow from His throne in that person and through that person and out of that person and impact the world. Oh, would you be that kind of person, a person whose heart is completely surrendered to God.